Hi hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to give you the tips and tricks on how to land your dream fish, the Silver Ghost, aka the Mulloway. Finn and I have got away on a bit of a uh, bit of a mission, a bit of an overnighter. Um, we've headed north of Perth a few hours for a bit of beach fishing, which has been um, been hotly requested by a lot of you out there, and particularly uh, Mulloway. So no promises, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, if it if this becomes a video, then obviously we've caught something worthwhile. So. You know, we'll call that a win. Just chilling. Got the rod set up. And waiting. Waiting, waiting. Bit of midday action here for Mr. Spence. Yeah, a bit of bait collection. You don't mind it. What a shark. Is it a shark? Oh, oh no way. No way! No it's way! It's our little cobia! No way! You wouldn't... Land-based cove! What? You wouldn't read no. about it, mate. Right? That little buddy. That's oh. why we couldn't pick it if it was a snapper or a tailor. Yeah. It's a snapper tailor, cobia. Mulloway. Mulloway. Taiwan. Perfect. Yeah. Probably not your average catch off the beach. Anywhere. But uh, that's a cobia. A very little cobia. It's very nice colors. I like him a lot. He's going to go back. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Very spiky. Could be a good mully. If it's a mully, it's good. It could be a Doing the right thing so far. Yeah. I need some mully, man. Yeah, bloody good one. Just pulled hooks. No! Good right there. Hooks. How does that happen? You cut? No, it's a cut. shark. Cut. All right. All right. Jason hooked up once again. My combo because I'm such a nice guy. That feels like a Oh. It's important to keep pressure on these fish. Not too much, but just eat. Keep that tension because I will try and shake the hooks. This one I actually cast up across the beach, probably about 20 metres out. So on the 45 degree angle, nice and in close. Shows you, you don't need to cast far to get mulloway. Well, I'm assuming this is a mulloway. Pretty close, you know. It's not, it's not massive. I wouldn't say, oh, Jace. No, he's over that meter. He'll be over a meter, but he's not. Good run. I think he's just in the shore break now. Loosen up slightly. I think it is mully. Oh, it's a mully for sure. Has to be. It's not a shark. And it's doing the classic, the mulloway up and down the shoreline. It's on rice at the moment. Right there. Right there. Um, yeah, mulloway. Look at the uh, the bait we got there. I wonder what that is. 
just on legal tailor. Perfect bait for these guys. Perfect bait. Look at the hook set as well. 80 BKK. Perfect. Perfect hook for this kind of fishing. Yeah. Lovely. Shabby, Mr. Jason. On the board. So well conditioned fish. Very well conditioned. He's heavy for his uh, for his length, eh? It's a chunky fish. Probably about that 11 kilos. Not bad. Not happy. We'll get back to the release. Yeah. We uh, want to get her back, him or her. So yeah. So just but with Mulloway, if, you, if you're going to release them, you do it quickly because they're not very hardy when you leave them out of water. He's off. I was like literally holding the rod because I got a tailor bite and I felt a thunk thunk strut and it just sent it for like 20, 30 meters. Gotta be another mully. Just before that uh, moon set as well, we're about half an hour before moon set, peak light time. Nice uh, slab of mullet, I think this one was. Nice billet presented like Finn showed earlier. Once again, my rod going off. Yeah. Finn so kindly lent me his uh, spare surf rod so that we could uh, have a total of four rods out between the two of us. Could be a good fish. Yeah, he's slugging it out, hey. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Shark. No, Molly. So here we have example A of why I run 120 pound Tiagra. Bitten through so, the snow. He's had a mully that's obviously been rubbing on its teeth and uh, maybe it's gill rakers. You can see where his snell has gone all there. And um, this is why you should go heavier to avoid disappointment on that 20 kilo fish. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy. 120 pound. Big 120 can you, pound. Can you let me some 120 pound? Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Rookies. Seen it yet? Late night runs. Fin on the wheel for this one. What do we got? Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a mully. Nice. Yes, Fin. Yes. Oh, mate. Nice metery, at least. Not bad, mate. Took out the rod holder in the process because couldn't get the rod out of the holder with the fish running. <laughs> I watched that load up, hey, that was so sick. Lovely fin. Not bad. A little fire, but it's not a... Small fish. Not really very small, hey. No, it's a big one. What's it about 1.30 in the morning? Something like that. It's just about to cook some noodles and heard a screaming. And it's come back yeah. to this lazy molly. Tell you what, it was not the real screaming, it was me. Saw that rod load up. It uh it helps have these super bright MAF rod tip lights though. Ooh. Tell you what. Spicy. Very spicy. Nice, Finn. Very nice, man. Not bad, yo. Lekka, bro. Lekka. Oh, he's off. Shut up. 
He's off off. Oh, there he is. Oh, they're all spooked. I wonder why. All the bait fish are spooked. Poor bait fish. Maybe there's an apex predator in the water with it. Yeah. One. Good Molly. My well, right rod's in, so it should be a pretty clean fight. Was it run good? Oh! I was checking your bait was slack. Mate, oh, yeah. that was a pretty screaming rod holder run if I've ever seen it, eh? Oh, I got it, I missed up. Been watching for the last two hours. Same happened to me, I was cooking noodles and you grabbed my rod. Right, we're even now. We're even. Even? Even. Yeah, no, the old... not even bloody cooked noodles. These mullaway are going off. Oh, no, I've tried to cook my noodles twice now and they've both stuffed me up. Doing the old mullaway up the beach run. First head goes... shake. Yep. Good head shakes on it. I'm just running a loose drag because they head shake a lot, these things. They run, they bolt, and there's no structure. If you, if you want. If you got, if there's no structure to actually pull them from, just let them run, play around, do their dance. Exactly. No, no point rushing them. Exactly. Look, they, most of the time they just swim with you, like if you wind them. Just doing the up and back. That's a pretty good one. Well conditioned fish. Hold Man. on to him, son. Whoa. He's a feisty little fish. He's actually got a bit of a bit of weight to him for a beach fish. Put sand all over me, a bit of mully slime. Beautiful fish. Lovely. Alright, we'll grab some photos and we'll try and release this dog. Yeah, he's kicking strong. So Jason's rod of choice, brand new. It's old crusty 10k ghost, but the nice one. Don't know if you can see it too well. Saltiga Surf 133H. Perfect kind of 30 to 40 pound kind of stick. Good for pinkies, droning, mulloway. Mid. Yeah, mulloway. I'll, I'll attest to mulloway. Mulloway. Oh, oh, here we go. No sooner as I was... Um, just off the back of that last fish, a metre 20. And here comes Finn, just chucking a rod out. Um, hooked up again, big run. Got to be another mully, hey? Definitely another mully. He's really playing up, eh? Where's his second run, but? He's in the surf? He's in the surf. Yeah. They've been washing themselves up already tonight. It's been actually quite easy to land them. We'll see how this goes. Still playing silly buggers, eh? Oh yeah, I see him. No need to rush him at this point, hey. He's just in the break there. I'll go run down and grab him. Nice little mully. Not bad. Meter 15, I reckon. He's, uh, he's whacked it fairly high. Uh, see that circle's got him good. Circle's got him? Circle's got him. Oh, circle's got him. He ain't going nowhere. 
Give us a hold up, Chief. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There goes the children. Oh, he's kicking, kicking. What a lovely fish. Yeah, well over that meter mark, the magic meter. Probably 12, 13 kilo fish. Yeah, not a bloody bad fin. Don't ever stick your hand in a Mulloway's gill. It's not, not very nice. You got multi wade mate. I got multi wade What can you do, hey? Inexperienced fish shows these days, young fellas. Just don't learn. Bloody wood ducks. Hmm, so after a little uh, bit of madness, we got some noodles. They don't look the best. Those, it's okay, mate. Those stupid fish which cut my hand ruined my noodles as well. Shout out to Sammy Harris. I uh, wish you were here, mate. Bigger and better things for you, Sammy, mate. Uh, enjoy. Hope you get your mully someday. Oh, big one. Big one. Oi, I'm bringing your rod in. Yep. All right, let's have a look. What's going on? Grab my head to it? Yeah. That was a good one. That was a crazy run. They don't let us do anything productive here. Set up noodles, set up our swag, anything. Mate, we may as well not even sleep at this point. Just They're up. just intermittently disturbing us. Not happy. Not happy, Jack. Not happy. Good oh. thuds. Oh. oh, he's not happy. It's a big flatty. There he is. Another good fish. Just went hard, this one, I reckon. Still going. He's not even that big. Oh, actually, he's got some size. I lie. That's okay, that one. Good fish. Solid. Yeah. Not anything monster, but. Just whack the hooks out and um, get him on quick, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a slob, that one, Finn. It's not bad. He's got those purples in him, hey? Yeah. Very cool fish. Back you go. Go swim, swim. Go swim. Okay, out my hand. There he goes. Bye bye, friend. Just packed up now um, after a, a long night, but a, a successful night on the mullies. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Come in and see us if you got any questions, um, and we'll unload info on you. We'll see you next time, guys.